right, guys, here we are, here we are again. Coach Josh with the Texas Tigers, uh, head strength coach here. I got Tommy Bittner here. Um, he's nice enough to come help us out with the program. Um, we're gonna actually go over plyometrics today. We'll always include our warm up to start. And at the very end, we'll have a nice little balance series and also a cool down. So I'm gonna go ahead and set out these cones here. Um, like I said, we'll probably do about 10 to 20 yards, okay, for him for a warm up. He's used to it. Um, so let's go ahead and get these set up. We'll go this way, this direction. Yeah. And guys, as always, I'm gonna try to keep six feet, really adhere to that social distance rule just to keep everyone safe and healthy. Hope you guys are doing the same at home. That's pretty good. So really to focus on this warm up, let's really go over real quick why we warm up. Um, the biggest reason is to get that blood flow to those working muscles. As an athlete, if you're gonna be doing high velocity movements, you want to be loose. You want that blood flowing to those muscles. Um, secondly, it allows us to move in a range of motion that's safe and athletically successful. Okay, having that good power moving through great ranges of motion is always key. So that's why we kind of do a warm up, really focus on movement first. So Vince, all I want you to do is go ahead and start with that Frankenstein kick. Chest is tall. Good. You can notice he's pretty comfortable with doing this movement. This one right here really pulls out that hamstring. Nice job. Coming through, we're gonna go knee pulls up through the top, balance through that toe. And once again, now we're involving a stretch through the hips. Nice bits, nice. He's staying balanced through the entire motion. Good. Hey, on this one, we'll go quad pull. Nice and smooth. Good. Finish up with a gluten hip, okay? Gluten hip. Good. Guys, notice he doesn't fall out of the movement at all. He really focuses on being biomechanically sound, staying strong through the core, up through the toe. Good job. And this one here, sprint form, lean stretch, big up, drive up out. So you'll see me start adding a little bit more velocity type movements now that we've done all our pulls. He's actually gonna start heating up a little bit more. Good. Hey, high knees, nice and smooth. Relax those shoulders, pop, pop, pop. Lot of reps, lot of reps, lot of reps. Lots of reps, good, good. Nice job. Butt kick, same thing, lots of reps. Have that quick recoil on the hamstring. Lots and lots of reps, lots of reps. Guys, you hear me say lots of reps. It's really important, guys. I want as many reps as you can from A to B. Really focus on those movements, that neural adaptation to be fast. Hey, right, now we're gonna go lateral. Okay, you're acting through the hips, low and slow, smooth, smooth. Really reach. This one should be pretty good here. Hockey position. Good. Go ahead and touch the ground there, coming back. Nice, Bittner, nice. Hey, add a little speed now, okay? Really pick up that front foot. Nice, lateral drive here, chest tall, move through those hips. Good. Are you breathing? All right, so you can tell he's breathing, all right? And really activating that heart rate, okay? That cardiovascular health, he's pumping, 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 more blood going to those muscles, that's what we want. We want a light sweat once we're done. So now we're gonna add a little bit more velocity, going with some skips now, okay? So all we're gonna do, A-skip, okay? A-skip, power through the floor. Pop, 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 good. Nice, good, nice. Take that one backwards. A simple rule of thumb for all the athletes at home. If you're an athlete, you should go be able to go any direction with any movement, okay? Whatever we do forwards, we should be able to go backwards, sideways, all kinds of stuff. 
So I'm gonna show you a sideways A skip, okay? Here, he's gonna go sideways. A skip, A skip. Go ahead. Good. Nice job, staying relaxed through each movement. Good, he's gonna take a breath, recover a little bit. He'll come back sideways to his left. As he breathes, guys, it's important to notice it's always it's always good to breathe. Okay, we don't just go 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 quantity over quality. That's not what we want. We want quality over quantity. He relaxes, takes a breath, and he gets back to it. Go ahead. Smooth, good, nice job. Up, up, good. Pull that back knee up here, back knee up too. Good. today I had a little bit throughout the warm-up just to really really activate that nervous system getting him ready for the workout you'll see he just did pogos and had two tuck jumps and that's it okay I want it short and sweet because I don't want to get him tired from the warm-up okay I want him to have built into that workout okay that's the whole key to a nice easy warm-up so Bender have a nice one here this is a good one here forward skip forward arm circle total body range of motion here Nice and smooth. And once you get down to this cone, you'll just be nice and easy. Bring it backwards, backwards, arm circle, backwards, skip. Excellent job. Good, good. Hey, last but not least, now I want your heart rate to start coming back down a little bit. Here, stepping over hurdles. Switch it halfway at the halfway cone. Turn that backwards, skip back. Forward. So guys, what you just saw was a dynamic warm-up. Um, I really believe in dynamic warm-ups, especially before a power type workout. Uh, it really gets that blood going, the muscles activated, and last but not least, those nerve impulses. That's what we really, really want. So as he moved through that, you could tell he started to breathe a little bit. He should be active, his heart rate should have been beaten. He should be primed and ready to do any type of workout. Okay, so um, today, the workout we're gonna focus on involves a lot of plyometrics. Okay, for instance, shorthand there, that just means a lot of jumping. Uh, without getting too deep into what plyometrics are, um, there's three phases, okay? You got the concentric, the amortization phase, and the eccentric. Uh, that's what, we'll work in all three phases today to truly try to enhance this athlete to where he can jump and explode and really working on force production. How you feel? A little bit winded. A little bit winded, that's perfect, man. So to start here, I'm just gonna pick my cones up. So this type of workout is really gonna tax him, okay? So I'll give him plenty of rest in between reps and really uh, make sure he focuses on the biomechanics and gets that power to really be the best athlete he can be within the movement. So simple stuff here, all I'm gonna have him do is we're gonna work him within probably a three to five yard cone area, okay? You guys can set it out. Use a piece of chalk, anything you have at home, it doesn't have to be cones. To start with, I'm just gonna have him do tuck jumps from point A to point B, okay? So go ahead and step on over here. The one thing you'll see me ask him to do is he'll reset every time. It's not gonna be a continuous tuck jump. So he's gonna tuck jump up, and he's gonna land here, reset, and go. So I want you to get maybe three to five here. Up, reset. Look how he lands. Quick tuck. Good. See how he fell out of that one? The balance was a little off. Much better. So guys, that second rep was actually really good to see. Boom, he fell back. All that means is he wasn't centered. Everything didn't tighten up. And the other three were great. 
Okay, so go ahead and do it one more time for me. Push. Nice. Look at the arm movement. Chest is tall. Up. Good. Big one here. Nice job. Relax. Okay. So that's an easy, easy start to a plyo. Um, what you just saw was just tuck jumps. I'm going to try to explain those three phases to you, apply your metrics using Bittner here. I'm not going to be able to get too close, so he'll kind of have to listen to what I say. So when I say concentric, the amortization phase and eccentric within the plyometric. So the eccentric is basically him coming down. It's that load phase. There's our eccentric. When we do plyos, we want that to be rapid. Okay, we're trying to have that max force production on that hamstring posterior chain, having that stretch shortening cycle as a rapid force production, okay? The in-between phase, so go ahead and come down bits, go like that. So that's the eccentric phase right there. Where he's at here, right before he drives up into the concentric phase, that's the amortization phase. That's the very short time between coming down and up. Okay, so go ahead here and just come up a little bit. Eccentric, amortization right there. So when he comes here, a short time and then drives up, that's the concentric phase, okay? So I just want to be real clear when I say those kind of words. Don't make it too difficult. I want you guys just to work hard, but understand why we're doing it. Um, this allows max force production. So what you saw, tuck jumps and stable. Now I'm going to have him actually have more dynamic movement. Same thing, bits, just no stopping. Boom, 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 all the way through. Nice and tall. Explode, good, good. Arms here. Nice, relax. Take a breather, okay? Give me more arm drive when we land, whoop, and drive up. Okay. That was really good, man. Press through those toes. Chest stays tall. Nice, big up, beautiful. Up. Hey, nice job. All right, guys. That's the first one of our progression. Real simple. We're landing on both feet. Okay, you'll see later in the workout, we'll go to single leg. Uh, now we're actually going to go left to right, same thing, tuck jumps, okay? He's going to go here to the left, up, and he's going to hold, and then back to it. So go ahead. Okay, this time, guys, we're only going to go one time down and back. Good. And soft. Nice. Big up. Beautiful. Take a breather. Whenever you're ready, we'll come back to the right. Notice he's breathing. Take your time. Rest, breathe. Make sure we get quality reps over quantity. Push. Yeah. Big drive. Hey. Hey, best one. Get up tall. Nice job. Catch your breath. Good. Hey, your next set here is the dynamic movement. Same exact thing, bitch. You're going to come down. Boom, boom, boom. You're going to make sure we're controlled right away. Tuck jump back to the right. Okay, so no stops in okay. Need water or anything? Hey, a little water. Yeah, grab some water. So guys, as he has water, uh, I'll give you a quick tip on progressions. For the youth athlete, the younger athletes, um, you guys really kind of want to do plyometrics with both legs. Don't ever just jump to a single leg. Our athlete here, he has the muscular structure to keep him safe, so he'll be able to progress into that single leg. So just be aware of what you're doing and why you're doing it. Um, when we're younger, we're really just working on the neural adaptation, not necessarily muscular strength, okay? That comes in time once testosterone hits and all that fun stuff. Uh, the older athletes that are gonna watch this video, you guys can progress accordingly just like him. Um, you'll be able to go to that single leg, really move, have that force production and drive through it. So Bits, if you got rest here, Explode one, two, three, just give me three, and then back to it, okay? Try not to have a pause. Squeeze, good, push. Chest is tall, beautiful, back the other way. Keep that chest up. Up, good, big one here. Nice. Yeah, man, good, breathe. All right. What you just saw is what we call a tuck jump. It's more height, okay? All I'm going to do now in this plyometric series is I'm gonna change the uh, direction of force. I'm gonna have him, instead of going up, I'm gonna have him pushing out. And we, we just call that a broad jump, okay? Don't overthink it. 
We call that a broad jump. Same thing, we're gonna segment it using two legs. He's gonna big jump, hold, reset, big jump, hold, reset. I'm gonna have him get four to six jumps here. Okay, I don't want him going 15 to 20. That's more conditioning. Right now I want quality reps here, four to six. So jumps small, like smaller jumps? Yeah, reach out there. Yeah, I'll reach out. Big here, push, and hold. Okay. Yeah, if you can clear that, clear it. Cones are just indicators, okay? Rock it out, push. Max effort, you can tell he's having max effort. Good, big one. One more for me, push. Nice job. So guys, as you can see, I misjudged his power. That's on me. I apologize, don't take that personal, bitch. <laughs> hey, I will also uh, touch base. We're on a concrete uh, slab here. You can tell when he lands, he has a little slip. Guys, that's okay as long as you can stay controlled. Okay, obviously you want perfect uh, scenario, you just stick. So may maybe grass would be better. Right now we have the concrete slab, so we're really gonna work the best we can with it. Uh, so just be safe when you guys do this stuff. Breathe, we'll go again, let's get four. Let's see if you can redo it. He extends. Good, he takes a couple steps, I'll deal with that. Nice, much better. Chest up, hips down, excellent. Good. His landing technique, everything he does, he goes from flying and he drops the hips right away. That's how we should land. It's a strong position to reproduce power. Take a breather. Nice job, man. He's gonna rest, okay? When we do plyometrics, you guys have got to rest. Okay, we have something called an ATP system. He's using it. Now we just got to let it resynthesize and we'll add some more to it. So on this second time bits, I'm gonna have you just, just like tuck jumps, explode. Boom, boom, boom. I only want four. Okay. okay, make sure we have those arms here. Quick switch, bang, quick switch, bang. Okay, chest stays tall, big man. Push, control, push, control, push, control, push. Yes, good. Excellent job, excellent job. Breathe, take about 25 seconds, all right? You can tell what it takes to be a like, powerful and plyometric. It's everything you got. When you're on the ice, guys, there's times on the ice where you literally drive so hard, all of a sudden it's like, oh man. So this is a great way to train that energy system, and it's also a great way to recover that energy system. So take your time, lots of breaths, whenever you're ready. Okay, last one here, we got four. Push, good, chest tall, push, beautiful arms, good. So that dynamic movement, okay, you notice everything was working together. It's an efficient machine, okay? We had no power laps, no imbalances. He's been with me for a while, so he does that very well. Uh, you guys at home, remember the progressions. If we have to sit here and go boom and hold, that's better than doing something out of control and not doing it, doing it right at all. So that was great, excellent job. Breathe, okay? All right, guys, welcome back. Hey, we just had a quick water break. Uh, give him a little rest. Uh, when you guys do this kind of stuff, like I said, I always touch on rest. It's so, so important because the focus is getting the most out of the workout. Um, we're actually going to progress now into a single leg plyometric series. Um, it's going to be pretty simple stuff, but you'll see I will draw him back all the way to stabilization first, starting with just nice, easy jumps, making sure he's stable at the top. He should be just fine. He took off his shirt. Sun's out, gun's out. He should be moving a little bit easier. <laughs> so let's go. So make sure, the biggest thing here, we train both legs, okay? So we're gonna start with our right leg. All I'm gonna have him do is just push. I don't worry too much about the space he covers here. I'm looking more for stability through the joints and body alignment. So I'm just gonna have him have right leg. And I literally just want him to push up and hold tight and stick it, okay? You guys fall out of it just catch it and get back to it let's go for each leg here hold tight good nice go ahead and walk it back for me 
So you guys can see he's stable through the joint on the landing. Everything's biomechanically sound. Let's go ahead, left leg. Good. Big drive, good. Control. Big one here, bits. Nice job, go ahead and walk it back, take a break. So guys, this will be a progression, okay? Um, really kind of transitioning up through the older kids on the single leg stuff. That way we're just staying safe, okay? So now I just want you to do the same thing, but we're gonna go lateral, okay? I want you to use your outside leg here, big up, up, and hold tight, okay? This one's gonna be a little bit more difficult. You'll kind of see his balance waver a little bit. Go ahead. Good. Nice. Beautiful, walk it back. The difference is I give him this walk back so he can rest, okay? It's not easy to be pushing like this. Go ahead. There you go. Nice, big man. Good, reset. Up. Good. Hey, big one here, big dog, come on. Nice job. Breathe, okay. Same thing, just having a dynamic push with it, okay? Don't stop here. Boom, boom, okay, okay, always pushing. Stay stable all the way through. How many? Four, I just four. want four here. If you feel good, man, you can take it to six. Okay. Okay, good question, guys. Four to six reps here is perfect. Big push, good. Control, big up, big up. Good, nice job, man. Go ahead and walk it back, we'll go to the other side. Guys, when he does this, notice his chest is tall. He has a quick ground contact and he gets back up, okay? Try to recognize the eccentric, the amortization phase, and the concentric, okay? And tell me what you see and what you recognize. Go ahead. Good. Good. Stay. Big up. Hey. All right. Hopefully you guys saw the eccentric and concentric. Very rarely do we see that middle part. That kind of happens on a, on a very small level. So you guys should be able to see two distinct movements there. That was really good, man. Hey, moving on. Okay. Now I just want you to go forward. We're just going to have bounds. Okay. This is one you guys are probably a lot of really familiar with. I want you to bound out. Think about jumping over water puddles or a hurdle. Okay. Really push. I push. I push. So I'll see you. Yes, sir. Alternating bounding here, okay? He's gonna think about jumping every time. Chest is tall, knee up, toe up, and push through the air. Up, up. Beautiful, good. Nice job, hey, that was excellent, excellent. Hey, rest right there and we'll come back with the same thing. Guys, when he bounces, okay, well, he's gonna do this one more time. He's actually really good at that. The amount of power he puts in, has the arm drive and gets tall, gets tall. He's not here. Boom, he's not picking up his chest. Really using the legs and the hips to drive through the air. Take a breather whenever you're ready. Push, good, up, nice. Hey, good job. Okay, we're progressing through. Now I'm just gonna give him a different cadence, okay? Now Vince, I want you to go two on the right, two on the left, okay? So I'm just gonna have him do different things with his feet because he's an advanced athlete, okay? He's getting up to that position and that age where he's able to do a lot of things now, okay? His muscles are strong enough, so I'm just gonna have him do two, two each leg. He's gonna go here, he's gonna switch, switch, okay? Keeping that power through. Go ahead. There you go, push, push. Good, nice job. Catch your breath, come on back. Push, push, one more. Hey, relax. Okay. Good job. All right, guys, last one, okay? Quality over quantity. Last one, I'm going to have him stay on one leg. It's really going to keep him staying balanced and cycling through that speed mechanics, okay? So he'll have this here for that power. Watch his hip come through. He's going to stay stable. You're really just pushing off one leg, okay? And we're going for height and distance here. Just stay nice so and comfortable. So it's just one leg. Yes, sir. Oh. Yeah, so he's going to look for here. He's going to push, push, and push all the way through. 
Give me five to seven if you like, okay? You can handle more reps. Go ahead. Good. He's controlled, picking up his foot, single leg. Nice job, Mitch. Nice work. So I've taken out that other side. This is just a progression. Keeps him really balanced through the core, having to use his opposite side of his body to generate momentum. Whenever you're ready, take a good rest and we'll come on back. Opposite leg, okay? Push, good. There you go. Hey, good, relax. Good job. How you feel? Okay, okay. awesome. All right, guys. Hey, so we're gonna finish. Okay, you've heard me say a weird word here, the amortization phase. We're gonna finish with just little bits of that here just to have a nice finish here for him. And then we're gonna kind of progress in just an easy balance series to really work on those mechanics. So how I do that is just speed squats here. I just want him here in an athletic loaded position. He's gonna be right here coming up and down. He's really just gonna work those hips and it's gonna feel a little funky, but we're just staying in that what I call a power zone. Okay, when we dunk a ball, we go here and we're up. We don't ever come down here. So I just want him in that power zone, really pushing the eccentric and concentric contractions as fast as he can. Okay, we're gonna go for about 25 seconds, one time through here on each leg. Um, and we'll do bilateral as well as unilateral. Okay, so go we'll almost over two here. Okay, and just work, work, work. Okay, you just stay as fast as you can. No movement, you'll be stationary. Ready, two, one, go. And it's just quick little quarter squats. Okay, simplify it. Don't make it too difficult to understand. He's really just staying in that good power phase. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Push, 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 good. Legs heating up. Yeah. Okay, that's what we want. Three, two, one, relax. Good job, rest. All that is is a quarter squat. I don't care how you term it. Just try to keep it nice and fast and controlled. All right. All we're gonna do is add balance to the mix now. All we're gonna do is pick up one leg, same thing. And it's gonna be push, 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 push. Okay. So my feet, my foot just comes up around a little yeah. bit. Yeah, just a little bit here. Same thing here, 25 seconds. Ready? Two, one, let's go. Good. Nice. Small flexion on the knee. Stays nice and balanced through it. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Five. Two. One. Relax. Guys, when you do this, you're going to feel a lot of heat within that muscle. That's because we're contracting so much, really working that power movement. Nice job. Go opposite leg, take a breather. Whenever you're ready, just give me a thumbs up. I'm gonna get going. Feel okay? Hot. <laughs> it is. So when you go, if you feel loose up here, yeah. just stay up a little bit taller, okay? Yeah. And that way you'll feel a little bit more in line with your body. If we bend down, it'll be like, whoa, what's going on? Yeah, so stay up taller. We really get that hip, okay? If we go sideways, we get that hip. Chest is up, smooth, smooth, okay? Just trying to work that quick contraction here. Here we go, two. One, last one here. That's much better. Looks good. As you can see, he's just staying in a nice quick power zone. We're not truly going all the way up or all the way down. Keeping that muscle contracting here. 10 seconds, big man. Let's go. Push, push, push. Good. Three, two, one. Nice work, relax. Good job. Excellent job, relax. Guys, that's a great movement. Um, what you'll see uh, as in yesterday's workout, Coach Tyler had you guys do an ISO hold. I'm essentially just building off that, okay, for producing power. He has this nice and stability, nice and strong. So, so important to be in this position. Why? Because now we can move here. We do that on the ice all the time. So he's training stability, nice and strong. All I did is take that and add a little speed working that contraction and heating up that muscle. So you can see this is a progressive program. Everything's moving in line with each other. Uh, why don't you grab some water?
Guys, we're gonna, all we're gonna do now is move into balance, okay? A little cool down phase. We're gonna move into a nice balance progression. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a yoga mat so we have something a little unstable and uh, we'll get going from there. All right, guys, welcome back. We just had a water break again just to finish up that plyometric series. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. It's really good for speed production and really force improvement um, and development as a youth hockey player. Uh, we're gonna transition to something a little bit easier um, within the energy systems. All I'm gonna have Tommy do here is a balance series, okay? I have a yoga mat here. It's just your simple at home yoga mat. The reason I have this is to provide a little instability on the ground. At home, you guys can use a pillow, a blanket, um, anything that works to where the ground's not flat. And really to, to get to that point, if you guys need the flat ground to start, go ahead. It's just he's been with me for a while now, so I like to always try to keep him thinking and progress him. So Bender, why don't you take your shoes off? Guys, this is another important thing, letting that foot work. As hockey players, our ankles get very immobile. Uh, so we really want to have the ankle be able to move. We want those feet and those toes to move as well. So when you can, take the shoes off, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and set this down. All he's going to do is step on it when I ask him, go ahead. And we're going to work on balance here, okay? You'll see him move through these motions. He'll fall out of a couple. He'll stay strong in some. Uh, we're just really focusing on breathing, a cool down while staying tight through the movement, being biomechanically sound. So all I want you to do right now is going through four motions. He's going to stand tall, coming all the way up and picking his knee up, having a strong hip flexor, adductors, picking them up and hold. Okay, so this will be position one. Go ahead and pick your feet, knee up, toe up. Pull that toe good. He's in a great sprinting stance, really a good position to produce force. I like to hold him here so his body can get used to this motion and this position. Good, all I want you to do now here, and I'll try to run through this so he can see me in his peripherals. He's gonna go ahead and just extend his lower leg out. This is gonna add a little bit more different balance to his body. And guys, I'm holding these for about 10 seconds per movement, um, plus or minus five seconds. So on this one, Bits, I just want you to take it out to the side now. And you can see his body move a little bit. Try to maintain the best mechanical sound position as you can. Nice, man. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Go ahead and send that to the back side, just nice and tall. Good. All right, our last one, he's actually going to sink down. Okay, watch me here. He's going to sink down and cross his leg behind, keeping his chest up, essentially a lunge position or a skater lunge holding tight in that low position. Go ahead and sink down and hold. And for a lot of you guys, you might find this one to be a little bit easier because we sit here in this position. We're actually in an athletic position. Three, two, one, come up nice and tall. Nice job. Go ahead, we'll go the other leg, same thing, bits. We're gonna be up tall, extend, 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 and then wrap. Go ahead, three, two, one, up tall, lock it in. We're looking for that good sprinting form, always working on a lot of different things at an easy pace here. Good, go ahead and extend your lower leg out. Take it to the side for me, holding tight. Good, you guys will feel those external rotators here in that hip. Nice job, take it behind you, staying nice and strong in that down leg. There you go. And watch as he sinks down, he's slow and controlled, holding tight. You can see that leg activate, core's tight, chest is up. Nice job, five seconds, big man, stay with me. You can see him starting to shake a little bit too. One and up, relax and breathe, good. Hey, just like with anything, we rest, okay? Don't sit there and try to roll through it as fast as we can because you can see where we're going with this. Uh, we'll actually have a progression. It'll make it a little bit more dynamic. All this here is a lot of static movement. Strong, skill, skill, no movement. Now I'm gonna have it go through as if he's actually skating, okay? I'm gonna have that knee drive, skate, and come all the way up, okay? 
So Vince, I just want you to be tall here when you get started. It's not a speed movement, but just smooth. And push through, come all the way down, chest up, and push through. So you're gonna okay. sink as the slice goes Yes, down. sir, I do. So nice and tall, then sink down. Tight core, good. And you can move through it the best you can. Nice job, hold tight. We're gonna get six each side, guys. Make sure we work through it. Good. And you can tell all those different forces on his body, the momentum of the leg, it pulls on his body. He's gotta be controlled here. Hold tight, hey. Squeeze, back up, good. You can tell how fatigued he is. A lot of that's from the plyometrics we did, good. Last one here, nice and strong, get on tall, good, nice job. Breathe, okay, we'll go from that other side, nice job. How you feeling? That sucks. <laughs> but it's so good for you. Sometimes the most simple movements are the most difficult ones, guys. This is really good for the body. Here we go, core tight on the way down, stay rigid with that chest up. Strong lower leg strength, good. Up. Give me strong four, man. Come on. Hey. Good. You got two in you. Control. Squeeze. Big up. Control. Squeeze. Big up. Hey. Relax. Good job. Nice work, man. Nice work. Guys, when you do that, take your time. You guys can do three to four sets of that. You can tell it's very taxing because you're really can trying to control everything, okay? A lot of that force development going fast, we forget what it takes to really work on the mechanical motion. So that's really good. Hey, last balance series I like to do with my athletes, having a single leg. Um, a lot of the parents out there and those who are involved in yoga, you've probably seen this one. All I'm gonna have Bittner do here, he's gonna sink down have that lower leg strength. From there, he's actually gonna extend both ways. Hold tight, core tight. You can see my knees shake. He's gonna hold, he's gonna bring it in, and he's gonna drive, okay? So I really want that extension of power activating our core. Hey, we'll do, uh, let's do three to five, okay? okay? Three to five. Control. Turn to the side so I can see. There you go. He's strong on the way down. He's rigid. He's going to reach. Good. Bitch, try to come in with your limbs before you drive up. Control here. Bring your limbs back in and drive. Good. Nice. He's controlled here. He reaches. Brings his limbs in. Big drive. Nice job. Take his time. Anytime we have an imbalance or we fall out of it, we always reset. Don't go from an odd position right now. We're really trying to train that balance aspect of our body. Good, nice job. Good. Lock it in, bring it in, drive up. Hey. Good. Good, man. Nice work. Guys, the volume today, we're short and sweet, a lot of quality over quantity, and you can kind of tell what it does to the nerves. Even to an athlete that's a little bit older and has that muscular strength, um, it taxes us. So that's why when we do the speed work, uh, the plyometrics, all that stuff, that really takes a lot of force production, short and sweet, okay? Um, guys, I appreciate you joining me today. First and foremost, Mr. Bittner, thank you for coming out and helping us. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw it to Coach Forrest Mudgett. He's going to work with you guys on skills, so stay tuned. Hope you enjoy. Thank you. Thanks, Josh. Hello, everyone. Forrest Mudgett here. Um, today we are going to be working on stick handling. I've put together um, 
quite a bit of drills for us to go through. Um, today, make sure when we're training, we're having a lot of fun doing it. Do not expect perfection, work for perfection, right? You are going to probably lose the ball today. I will probably lose the ball today. It happens. Practice, practice, practice. All these things we're gonna be doing today, you can do from home. And if you do it every day at home, you're only going to get better and better. Progress, work towards being able to stick handle, do these drills with your eyes up, with your head up, because in hockey, if you want to be really successful, you're going to have to play with your head up. The more you're able to feel comfortable and feel the puck and look to make plays while you're stick handling, only the better you're going to become as a hockey player. Um, today, you're going to need three hockey pucks, two balls. I've got a golf ball that I'll warm up with, and then the hockey weighted ball, which I recommend definitely getting one of these if you do not have one already. And then you'll need two extra hockey sticks or a pole or any form of stick for that matter um, that we'll be doing some exercises with towards the end. So let's get started here. For our first couple of exercises, I'm gonna be using the golf ball. Uh, for our first drill, we're just gonna do a one leg hold and stick handle in place for 25 seconds rest and then we'll switch legs and hold for another 25 seconds. There we go. Bend, stay nice and low, rotating our top wrist, cradling that puck, nice soft touches. Now let's switch feet. stick handling drills today, practicing good habits, hands are away from our body, having good flow, good movement with our hands. Bottom hands loose, having a lot of mobility around the shaft, rolling our top wrist, having good control. Okay, so our next exercise, again I'll be using the golf ball for this one. We're going to stick handle in tight in between our feet, and reach out nice and wide, Stick handle in between, reach up nice and wide. Good mobility with our bottom hand. Go for about 30 seconds. Take a breather, get another set in. Okay, there we go. Stick handle in, in tight, reach. Stick handle in tight, reach. Hands are together, hands are separated in. Reach together. exercise, I'm going to switch over to the hockey weighted ball. Remember, 
prepper, as you get comfortable and you feel more comfortable controlling and feeling the ball looking at it, start to get your eyes up a little bit and progress and progress and maybe eventually you'll be able to do it without looking down at all. So here we go for our third set. Stop here in line with your foot. Push yourself and really get out there and reach, get those hands separated, pull upwards. Okay, now we're going to take that same motion and same pattern and we're going to transfer it to our forehand side. So for righties, we'll be stick handling on our right side. For lefties, you'll be stick handling on the left side of your body. We'll be stick handling in tight by our feet, reaching out behind us. Back in tight, reaching out in front of us. Here we go for our first set. set the same drill stick handling on our forehand side shooting position, shooting on our off foot. For righties, we'll be pulling and jumping onto our right leg. For lefties, you'll be pulling and jumping onto your left leg into a shot. We won't actually be shooting today, just working on stick handling and bringing that puck or ball into that position to release for a quick shot. We'll build off of this and use it into a fake shot deep to our backhand. We'll do two sets of each of those exercises, starting with just the handling, moving it into a shooting position. Ready for our first set? Stay nice and low, good posture.
now we'll progress off that drill, and after the shot, we're going to fake and pull from our forehead to our back end. We're going to do two different sets. Each has a different variation of after the shot, how we're going to stop and pull it to our back end. Okay, the first one, we're going to fake the shot and pull with our forehead on our toe over to our back end. Okay, so here we go for our first set. doing it on concrete or the garage floor and with the ball and it's probably not perfect surface but really try and pull that pocket for ball as hard as you can across your body create as much power as you can through your stick handle. For the second variation of that drill this time after we fake the shot we're going to stop it with our backhand quickly go to our forehand and pull across to our backhand. Okay? And for our second set here we go. exercise we'll need two pots we'll place them in a line probably about a foot foot and a half away from each other and then we're going to position ourselves another foot or so away from the pucks we're going to be working on figure eight we'll go two sets each direction the first one everyone's forehand will roll over that top puck and make our figure eight pattern that way. Okay, so here we go. Again, the forehand is gonna roll over the top of the puck, or the very top puck first in this type of pattern. All right, so here we go. set on the forehand side. Here we go.
For our next drill, we'll add our third puck in, just in front of the second one, probably about the same length apart. This one's not going to be a time drill, it's just a progressive series drill, where we start with the first puck, move to the second, to the third, back to the third, down to two, and finish with one. We go through that progression two times, and we'll do two sets on the forehand, and then two sets on the backhand. All right, so for our first set, remember two times, full progression, first puck, second puck, and the third puck, back up to the third, second, and first. And now we do that one more time around. Okay, then we rest. Then we'll go back through it again. Again, two more times. And then we'll switch and roll over through our back end. So let's go forehand again. Stick handle through these drills. For one, do not worry about losing the ball, who cares? Just grab it, go again. Nice in tight stick handling, roll on the wrist, good soft touches in between each other, really focusing on increasing our speed as we get comfortable here. The very first one, our foot movements are just going to be a shuffle back and forth, okay? One foot inside, one foot outside, and we're just gonna be stick handling as we do this movement. And then do it again. Go for you know two or three times. Okay, the next series in this same stick handling movements, except for our footwork patterns are going to change. This time we're going to go into kind of a crossover step. So we'll start here, cross over, plant, cross over, and plant. Good low knee bend. Crossing over and planting, working on that foot speed while we stick at it. Okay. we're going to have the same movements as far as crossing over goes but this time instead of crossing over the top we're going to be bringing our foot behind us as if we're backwards crossovers okay while we stick in seconds, take a break and then start again. That's it for today guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed everything and again 
work hard doing it, have fun, don't expect perfection, work for perfection. If you guys have any questions or anything, feel free to reach out and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks again. Bye.